Hello everyone, this is ASMR if today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you the secret of the Moody effect and I'll give you that preset for you and you can use that preset in your photography. So at first I'll show you the process and secret settings and uh, then I'll apply that settings to other photos. So this one is the tutorial map today. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first I'm going to the file and open up I downloaded some stock image and I'll give you that downloading in my video description so I'll just edit this photo and just opening up this one and just I'll copy of this layer by pressing ctrl J and then go to the filter and camera filter and you know that the camera filter is the blessing thing in the photoshop so if you have no camera please do update your photoshop to creative cloud and you'll get this one by default so at first the basic panels and here i'll desaturate this one a little bit like this yeah that's good and then go to the hsl panel and here is the majority of blue color and the orange color of the face and yellow mix up so i'll work with that at first i'll decrease the blue and hue i'll make it like aqua and then luminance of blue i'll make it down like this so after that just uh, work with the aqua color i'll decrease the aqua luminance and the blue luminance more and saturation i'll make it like this yeah and then go to the camera calibration and here you can make it like this and desaturate this one a little bit and here is the primary red color you can adjust the with that and the saturation will be like this three or four that's good and now time to neutralize the with the primary green color yeah okay that's good and then again go to the hsl panel and work with the face color so orange this one and the saturation i'll make it a little bit down and the saturation of red i'll make it up just because of lips color and the mix up and yellow color i'll make it the luminance down and the saturation a little bit up that's good and the hue of orange and yellow i'll make it like this minus 23 minus 29 that's good and the orange color i'll make it like this that's good and from the just tone curve i'll go to the blue portion and i'll make it like this one and this one that's good and then the rgb color i'll make it just lock over here and make it like this and here as well and then i'll go to the fx option and make it dehaze like this and add some vignetting and here i'll make it up this one that's good and from here exposure i'll make it a little bit up contrast up highlight down and shadow i'll give a little bit shadow and whites i'll make it up the white color i'll make it a little bit up and black color i'll make it down and from the temperature and tint i'll make it this one like that the saturation i'll make it down yeah on the blue saturation I have to make it more like this and aqua as well yeah that's good yeah add some saturation of orange color okay it will make it more moody color so after that just go to the options like uh, this one add some exposure a little bit yeah and then the RGB curves again and add like this yeah that's good and the sharpness amount of sharpening like make it like 41 and luminance of noise reducer make it like this yeah let's see the before one and after one yeah you got a moody color 
on your photography so after that i'll save it so save the settings and i'll save it for you guys and i'll give you that download link in my video description and then save button and hit the ok button let's see the difference between the previous one and after one previous and now previous and now so i'm saving this one and now uh, i'll apply that preset in my another photos so i'm saving this one so giving like that and uh, yeah that's good and then i'll go to the file again and open up i made that preset and i'll apply this preset to another photo like this so open it up press ctrl j for the new copy of this layer go to the filter camera filter and after that just load settings and here is that moody effect and hit the ok button you'll get the moody effect like that so let's see the before one and after one you're getting the nice moody color effect so if you need you can edit the all the panels you have that assumption to do that so you can do that and hit the ok button you'll get so let's see the before one and after one you, you are getting the moody effect from here so thank you so much hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to download this preset please check out my video description and this one is free totally free and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe my channel and share with your friend until the next video i am signing out today and bye bye